All right, man, talk to talk. You know what it is. Six o'clock. Hey, man. Six o'clock show. Thank y'all very much for being here with the King of the North. You know what it is. So today, 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 there's some breaking news, breaking news. Diddy trial might be a mistrial. So Diddy might be getting out. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. I know a lot of people want to hear that. But, yeah, so we're going to watch this video of this guy breaking it down about um, there's some mistakes that the uh, the prosecutors probably made. So, um, yeah. Before I get into that, legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work on your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. Single, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, uh, the links is on the screen. Cash at PayPal is in the description. They called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. And yeah, man, let me know where you're from, too. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, so let's get right to it, man. We ain't going to hold, hold you too much longer. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to get to it. So let's go. So let's get to it. You know what it is, man. <laughs> While I was preparing a recap of the government's opposition to Diddy's most recent motion for bail, this just dropped, a letter from Diddy's attorneys. And if it's true, this is bad news for the prosecution and potentially the trial. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and we got a lot of updates for you today. Make sure you've hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And yes, there's big news in that the government's opposition to Diddy's most recent bail attempt is shocking. There's a lot of allegations in here, and we're going to go through that. I'm, in fact, I'm going to make that part two of this video along with some legal analysis because there's a lot of stuff redacted. There's a lot of accusations. Look at that. So many things blacked out. There's a lot of black. Look at all this. But there's one thing in particular that Diddy's team is pointing out. Uh, and they're talking about it right here. The fact that they uh, are using materials that may include possibly privileged materials. That's point four they're talking about up here, where they talked about while in custody, these investigators recovered the following notes from defendant's cell during a pre-planned nationwide sweep of the facilities. Hmm. I guess that was to try to get Diddy's information. So now here's what Diddy's responding. I want to start here because this is breaking and this is bad. If they. So I'm guessing what he's what they're saying is. Uh, someone did someone pay to get this information and give it to them? Is that what they're saying? I'm not sure. I'm sure he's going to explain. But. Uh, yeah. This is going to be interesting. I got I got to hear what he got to say. I'm I'm I ain't going to say I'm excited. I'm not excited <clears throat> that uh that Diddy would be free. I'm I'm saying that I'm excited about this type of stuff. I love uh you know court drama and stuff like that. So, this is exciting to me. So, let me see what he got to say. Cuz obviously the the state, I mean the, the federal government is going to have to rebuttal this. And I want to see what they say. Yeah, this is this is going to get pretty interesting. Screwed up, and this is real. This is bad, and I'll explain why. So here's what the letter of the judge says. This is Diddy's team. Defense counsel has recently learned that prosecutors are in possession of attorney-client privilege material, including the defendant's own written notes. Don't throw $2,000 in the trash with the Google Pixel Fold. There is a government subsidy program. This search and seizure are in violation of Mr. Combs' 4th, 5th, and 6th Amendment rights. Moreover, the targeted seizure of a pretrial detainee's work product and privileged materials created in preparation for trial is outrageous government conduct amounting to a substantive due process violation. Because the prosecutors are currently in possession of privileged material and are actively using this material to detain the defendant, the defense rests an immediate uh, eventuary hearing. This is an em emergent matter because the government has Mr. Combs privileged notes to his lawyers concerning defense witnesses and defense strategies. Government's opposition to defendant's bail motion states that the trial prosecutors are currently in possession of 
possibly privileged materials, I just read that, such as notes recovered from the cell. In fact, the government is in possession of written material that is absolutely privileged. This is a matter of grave concern that, most respectively, must be addressed immediately for the following reasons. First, there is no dispute that the yeah, that's not good. If they got attorney-client privilege uh, notes or information that was directly given to Diddy and they got they obtained it or uh, certain things that Diddy discussed with his lawyer and they obtained it and they're using it against him. So they got this, they got his, his information and certain things and they're using it against him when they know that they don't supposed to do that. Now, I don't know how far attorney client privilege goes when it comes to the federal government, because in some cases, what they did down in Georgia, they can actually prosecute the, the, the lawyers. If the lawyers are, uh, let's say, uh, uh, cohorsing or doing something that they don't supposed to be doing with their client. You know what I'm saying? Or if they, if the lawyers know that the client was doing something wrong and they didn't report it, I, I think that that's the thing where they, they supposed to report it. Like if, a, if, if a client says that he's going to uh, do something to somebody and the lawyer knows about it, he's supposed to report it, you know what I'm saying? Or something like that. But yeah, so let's see what they say. Let's see the, 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 what they're saying. Um, what they're saying here the government is in possession of privileged material second until receiving the government submission at, at 11 most respectively must be addressed immediately for the following reasons first there is no dispute that the government is in possession of privileged material second until receiving the government submission at, at 11 30 p.m on friday the defense had never been told that mr combs notes were taken from the cell that these notes were given to the u.s attorney's office and these notes were then given to the trial prosecutors in the case who then used this material in a filing to keep mr combs detained we request an immediate hearing at which the government shall provide answers to the following question first who authorized a search of mr combs sleeping area personal effects and paperwork second who determined what paperwork to take third who decided to give this paperwork to the u.s attorney's office fourth who decided oh, to give his oh so they're saying that when he was locked up someone went and got his paperwork when he was in in why while he's locked up is that what they're saying is this what he's saying while he's locked up <laughs> while he's locked up this is what they're saying that someone took his paperwork so maybe they did a search or whatever, got his paperwork, and they gave it to them. Yo, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Paperwork to the trial, trial prosecutors. Fifth, who made the decision not to tell Combs, the counsel, that the U.S. attorney was in possession of his notes, including possibly privileged material, until after the government put them in a filing to keep him incarcerated. Sixth, exactly what material was taken. Because the U.S. attorney and it seems the trial prosecutors are currently in possession of privileged materials, we request a full eventual hearing as soon as the court can accommodate us. Now, I highly suspect this is now going to get hurt because this is legit. I've talked to multiple lawyers to try to verify this. They've all confirmed that, yes, if this is true and there's not a good excuse for it, which there could be some explanation. You got to remember the way these things work is they have apparently filtered teams where teams gather and they're able to sort of separate and uh, give the the non-privileged information to the, the the investigating authorities while the other stuff remains behind closed but i mean that's just uh, <laughs> hard to not think that someone couldn't just be like what does that say over there cool don't tell anybody i looked uh that would be corruption that would be awful but that's what's happening now the reason this is just scary is because they're making good points here they're asking good questions this looks shady. Now, look, I'm not a Diddy fan. I'm not trying to defend Diddy, but I've. Seen it definitely does. And you got y'all got to understand. I listen. I'm not a Diddy fan. I've never been a Diddy fan. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I never liked Diddy from the beginning. But you have to understand how the games are being played. And if y'all think Diddy is corrupt, the 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 people that are after him, all of these agencies. They're just as corrupt, if not even more corrupt. Y'all know about what happened in, in the 80s with the crack epidemic. Y'all know about these agencies. Y'all know what happened to Dr. King, 
uh, it happened to uh, Malcolm X. Y'all know what happened to them. I'm not even going to mention. I'm just going to say these agencies been corrupt. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know Jay Edgar. Y'all know him. Y'all know that these agencies been corrupt. So not to say that there's not some good people that work there, because they are. It's like there's some good cops. But when you got, when you're in a room full of poop, eventually you're going to get poop on you. And you're going to come out smelling like it. And that's just what it is. <clears throat> said all along i want to make sure we get a fair trial because if we don't that's how he gets out folks and this is exactly how he gets out this absolutely could cause a mistrial later uh that this wasn't a fair trial uh all of this is really bad news if in fact they were able to use notes that diddy was making client notes uh it's just massively bad news uh, and yeah, as, as Christopher just told me, the court could block the government from using any evidence it obtained from the search of his cell, uh, which will make it easier for him to get out on bail. The court could also disqualify the prosecution team and make them pick new members. Uh, this is bad. I went from napping during the day to playing three rounds of golf a week, all because I doubled my bad if actually true now they're gonna try to deny it I have no doubt now maybe there is excuses as to what happened here but this filing is no joke this is no joke and it will like as I'm being told and we're gonna bring on our, our lawyers uh, I'm gonna get one of our lawyer panels together later this afternoon to go through what this means along with going through the shocking relevations in this which I, I don't want to keep spoiling it I mean uh, uh, teasing it but in this, there's examples of him apparently still intimidating witnesses, using other cellmates' phones to reach said witnesses. Uh, there's evidence in this filing from the government that he was using his family to make that Instagram post, which we assumed already. Man. That's the thing, man. Diddy got so much pull. Like, people got to understand, Diddy is a... Is a for some people, he's a role model. For some people, he's a he's a guy who can't do no wrong. So him actually doing uh, and getting people to help him and using cell phones and and connecting with people. That's not I, I could have told you that was going to happen. People say oh, he went to jail and said, you think people ain't going to protect that man up in there? Y'all think people going to attack Diddy? Diddy? When they know that if he gets out, he could he could save them, he could save their family. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to do that with him. Because truth be told, he might get put away. He's already locked up. He might get put away. But they're not going to be able to hold him for too much longer if they keep doing stuff like this. They're going to they're gonna have to eventually let him get bail. They're not going to be able to cut. Because all it takes is one mistake. All it takes is one mistake. That's it. And then... The trial could be over, it could be a mistrial, it could be they could reset anything. But if they're doing stuff like this, it's the same thing that happened with, with, uh, with OJ. And I'm not saying OJ was innocent, but you have to understand the same thing happened with him when they were planting stuff to try to make him look more guilty because they wanted to make sure he was guilty. But you got to ask yourself, why was they doing that? Because they're all corrupt. You're playing, they're playing, they're playing, they're both playing deadly, dirty games. In our reporting here, uh, there is some awful, awful stuff in here that reaffirms why he is being detained, that he's breaking the rules in prison to get around them, that he's manipulating his own family to try to uh, taint the jury pool. A lot of stuff that they've been worried about is still happening while he's behind bars. And that's why they're saying, you know what? No, you can't. You have to deny his motion for bail. And this is why he's being detained. But, 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 but to see this reply I'm always going to keep it fair and honest. This is troubling to read, extremely troubling to read that they are potentially doing. Now, hopefully they'll have an explanation. And now, I'm going to say this. This is what I think. Matter of fact, I'll say what I think at the end. Let me let him finish. Uh, and that what the, the court will be able to accept. Uh, but they make a very good argument here. They're asking very good questions. Will we all be able to get fair answers? And this is where things are going to start getting wonky, where people are going to say, Diddy Defenders, which exist. 
they were out to get him. He can't get a free trial. He never had a free trial. They had him all day long. Oh, yeah, they were filtering things, sure. Like, they weren't sharing information. They got caught doing it. They denied it, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, sure. That department had it, and this department didn't. This is going to create a massively uh, theorized and um, more support for Diddy and potentially help him later get that mistrial or whatever, you know, other things that sort of throws us all out. Could the whole team be removed? The new one comes in. This is wild. And I imagine we're going to hear this pretty quickly. This does feel like an emergency order that's justified to figure out what the heck you're talking about. They have rights. Diddy and his team have rights. And if their due process is being, you know, ignored and they're literally we talked about that seizure at the jail. Clearly, that was part of it. They used that seizure to check for things to take his notes. Yeah, look, I... I I hate that I have some empathy for this man, but my God, he deserves a chance to prepare his defense. I know I, I want him to do that fairly. And if he doesn't get to do that. See, the thing is, most people don't want people want you to burn. That's it. Nobody wants a fair trial. If you talk to anybody, they don't even know about the case. And this just has nothing to do with Diddy. It's just if the public perception of you is a certain way. People don't care about the trial. They mostly care about you suffering because they feel like, well, you made everybody else suffer. So you have to suffer. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have nothing to do with, 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 uh, uh, how do I say this? Getting justice for you. Like, you know, cause they look at it like justice is being served on you, but you can't request justice or you can't request you being getting a fair trial because you're serving justice. And it's like it works both ways. That's why they say justice is blind. You know what I'm saying? But for some people, they don't care. They don't care. And again, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not siding with Diddy. I'm just giving y'all the layout. This is what it is. Some people just don't care. They want him to suffer. You know, and then some people will say, no, he he deserves a fair trial. That's what this is. That's what America is. You have to give a, pe a person a fair trial. You can't just just say, no, you, you, you're guilty. You know what I'm saying? Because you might agree with that, but then what happens when it flips on you? Now you're saying, well, I didn't do it. And they say, well, no, you're supposed to sit there until, until we figure it out. It's guilty until, uh, it's innocent until proven guilty, but for some reason, sometimes it's flipped around. <laughs> Fairly, he could still be guilty, but he's going to get away with it. We have to give him a right to have a fair trial. We have to. Everybody earns that right. We all have to have that right, even criminals. And if they're out there shaking down cells to take his notes, which he's doing to give to his lawyers, and they're sort of catching it before he can meet with his lawyers. I don't like that, man. I don't know about you. I know a lot of you don't like Diddy, but this isn't right if this is if this is true. Now, again, we'll see what their response is, and I'll bring that to you as soon as we have it. Make sure you've hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the bell for all. All right, man. You already know. Find that guy at. Link will be in the description. Yeah, you got to understand, man. The way it works is you're dealing with a lot of dirty, dirty people on each side. And they want the people got to understand to get Diddy and to get him convicted. That's a that's a wet dream for some people. It's definitely just like, yeah, it happened. But for some people, it's just like more on the lines of. They want to get him, but they want to do it the right way. But a lot of these, a lot of these organizations, they don't want, they don't, they don't care about doing anything the right way because long as the public, long as you're guilty in the public, in the, in the court of public opinion, they'll do it the wrong way because the public will always, they will always, not always, but most of the time they'll side with the public. You know what I'm saying? And the public will side with them because the public looks like, well, you you are you you are a monster anyway. You're a monster. You know what I'm saying? And the, the more the public see, the more the public see that Diddy's been doing certain nefarious and crazy things to people and stuff like that. The more they paint it out to be, the more the public will say, yeah, 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 he's this, he's that, he's that. Y'all don't think that that actually uh uh changes the mind or uh persuades the um the judge who's denying him bail? You're crazy. People get persuaded and they feel like they're doing the wrong or the right thing off of the court of public opinion. If the public hates you nine times out of ten, 
you're really not going to get some fair, something fair in your favor. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. I mean, but truth be told, we got to understand that Diddy, and, and this is my theory. This is my theory. They said that he had a seizure. This is what he said. He said he had a seizure, and he ran, and they ran, and then they raided. They took that opportunity to raid us. Diddy is not stupid. Diddy is very intelligent. And what I mean by that is he's kind of an evil genius. He's not dumb. He's not stupid. And I'm sure that he knows that the corruption that goes on, people will take stuff from him, and they will give it to them. And who knows? And maybe I'm maybe I'm shooting in the dark, but Diddy definitely could have did he could have did this on purpose. He could have wrote some things down on purpose, just to, just just so they can take it, and then he tell his lawyers that it was tooken, and then they 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 pushed to move for a mistrial. You know what I'm saying? Diddy's not stupid. He's not. You know what I'm saying? And as you can see. They had him on what they call incognito, where nobody was to be able to get in contact with him. But for some reason and somehow he's still getting in contact with people. So, but either way, man, I just thought that that was fascinating. I wanted to bring that to y'all. It's breaking news. This actually happened today. So, look, y'all have yourself a good afternoon. I'll see y'all in the morning, man. Got some good stuff coming up. All right, man. See y'all. Peace. Bye. Have a good afternoon. Everybody.